What's on Etsy? A Buffalo Bill original mask made by artist Adamia Creations. I'll put the link down below to artist Adamia Creations over on Etsy if you're looking to pick up the Buffalo Bill original mask. The price point on this one is $150 US. Very carefully, we'll go ahead and remove the Buffalo Bill mask from the mannequin head of mine. And we'll just put that to the side. The Buffalo Bill mask is custom made and made to order. Materials used for this were some sealer, some varnish, wire, thread, buckles, rivets, brass, leather, nylon, acrylic, and of course fiberglass. That is the primary material that they used for this. It is a very weighted piece when you physically get this in hand. A lot of time and a lot of care, you can tell, has definitely been put into this mask. <laughs> this is also cool. Uh, when I got the mask, they also took the time and sent me some uh, clockwork orange cufflinks. Uh, with eyeballs on the front there. It was very, very cool. And uh, down below, there's the price point on those if you're interested in picking those ones up for yourself. You can definitely see, again, a lot of care and pride put into each of the individual pieces. When you get the mask, for example, uh, there was this little tag that was on the front of it, stitched around the eye socket areas. And then you've got Adamia Creations or Adamia Creations. I think it's Adamia Creations. And then on the back of the tag, this tag, like the item it is, is attached to, has been made by hand with lots of care and attention to detail. Our goal is to put everything we have into our work. Our items are always made by hand with love. We only hope you love them too. That's from Adamia Creations. So let's get a good look at this mask because there's really a lot to have a look at. Now, of course, it's inspired by the Buffalo Bill mask. This is the inspiration from the Silence of the Lambs Buffalo Bill, in which that character, of course, took skin and crafted himself, uh, you know, a face and, and all that stuff. I think he actually makes himself like a body bust out of women's skin. Fantastic movie, the original Silence of the Lamb. So this is sort of an inspiration of what Buffalo Bill could have crafted together. And the sight of this is absolutely terrifying. You can see on the side, for example, well, one thing that's really neat about this particular mask is if you look really closely, both on the top and especially on the bottom, you can see that there is a human skull underneath. And then over top of that, they simply have taken big wedges of flesh and have and have basically stitched it and made this Frankenstein mask out of all of that. It's a grotesque sight, but a splendid sight, I have to admit. You can see how the eyes have been cut away from, of course, the skull that would have been behind it. A very gruesome, bloody defect around the outer area here. I like that they put a nice wet, slick coat over top of all of this. You can see that there's all these little scratches. Multiple different layers of paint as well between like cream colors, slightly darker grays, for example. Discolorations that flesh would, I guess, eventually start getting to. Not that I have real human flesh to compare it to, but flesh would naturally, of course, discolor the longer that it's it remains dead. You can see all these little cutaway lines where the 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 seamstress, and I don't even want to say seamstress, but the seamstress would have very crudely put some of these pieces together. Some real cut, dark, stark cuts right into the flesh itself. All the areas around the skull itself, you can see, are given this nice wet, slick coat of red paint, which also makes its way around the outer area, where it looks like the skull has been very crudely hammered and shattered, in which it's then made into this mask here. The mask can be worn, and it is buckled together by leather strapping. Each of the strappings have an adjustable buckle on the top, the sides, 
and then again you can fit this to order fit this to your specific face i just kind of gave let out some of the strappings just so it would fit over top of the mannequin head um, it does also fit over top of my head like i said it's a little on the heavier side being that it's a fiberglass material it's definitely got a little bit more density to it than perhaps some of the traditional halloween masks that you might be finding in stores right now even like the bone work here uh, has been very nicely painted here. Dark areas have recessed and filled in those recessed areas in which the teeth uh, reside. There's a little bit of darkness that's been added there. A couple of different coats of paint have been added. Blues, some whites, again, some cream colors and some grays. It does really work to quite together. It actually neat, it looks neat because the way the light hits it, it certainly looks as if it's got its own reflective surface to it. And it's really just the paint that's doing a lot of that. I think by far my favorite aspect of it is the stitching. The stitching that they've added here with the wiring. Stitching runs around the side here, around the top, around the, the uh, forehead area. There's stitching along the top area there. And uh, the, uh, certainly, of course, one big noticeable thing about this particular mask is the big noticeable gash that's right down the side. You can only imagine the sort of story that this mask could tell if it could speak. Um, I like that it almost has a, and I dare say, a beautiful look to it, but it definitely has a very artistic flair to it, despite for the fact that it's such a gruesome, gruesome looking mask here. One thing also, if you're wondering, it does have these little felt uh, and foam sections on the inside. Being that this is fiberglass wearing the mask, you would imagine that it would wear a little bit against your face and might cause irritation. But one thing that they did factor in, they put these little foam strips on the inside here, supporting against the forehead, supporting right above the brow area, right above your eyes, and then around the areas of the cheeks. So it sits comfortably, despite for the fact that, like I said, it is a very uh, dense, heavier feeling mask. An interesting thing about this particular mask is that the artist used to sell it when they worked for a company called Dead Rabbit Studios. Since then, they've reclaimed the original sculpt and mold and have made some slight improvements to the mask since then. The mask has been their original baby right from day one, and they're currently now selling it over on their Etsy store. Adamia, or Adamia Creations, are certainly one more gravitating towards the macabre a little more of the disturbing pieces, but there's certain beauty I think to be had for such a grotesque looking mask. If you are interested in this sort of design and want to check out some other cool art pieces that they produce over there, I'll put the link down below to Adamia Creations. It was on Etsy. We were having a look today at the Buffalo Bill original concept mask from Adamia Creations, which again, price point, if you're looking for the pick this up for yourself, you're looking at $150, which I think is quite affordable for the level of detail that they put into this mask. If you guys haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? More videos will be coming your way as well. If you want to head over to the main page, check out some of the stuff that you may have missed along the way might have missed out some cool goodies like this one right here head over to the main page when you finish this video and have a look as always guys thanks for watching as you always do i'll see you next time